What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Today we have this really big, really nice range bag. It is from Lynx Defense and it is called the Conquer. Now, quick funny story. I recently bought a new range bag that I did a review on and I wanted something much smaller. I wanted to slim down the stuff I brought to the range and I couldn't fit everything in the small range bag. So I started bringing two range, range bags to the range, totally defeating the purpose of slimming down. So in steps in the very nice, very big Concord from Lynx Defense. Two things I want to point out, three things about this bag I want to point out before I get into the specifics. This is not a cheap made in China bag. Do not expect a $50 made in China price tag. It's made in the States, it's sewn in the States with material that's made in the States. It is high quality and it is priced such. Second, there's tons of usable storage and pockets in here that we're gonna get into. I hate range bags with backpacks that have a big empty space that's useless, not any good to me. Third, I will be quick. Sponsor of this video is Prime Armor. Prime Armor makes level three, level four, soft armor, plate carriers, all good stuff. I've tested it all. There's a discount code, it's Tiberius. Um, they make some of the highest quality armor without the top tier price. So it's really good high quality stuff. Made it, NIG certified, blah, blah, blah. But it's not quite top tier price. So if you can afford armor, if you have the disposable income, that's one of those things that I highly recommend you have. Gas mask, uh, communication, GPS, body armor. Get yourself some body armor. And again, the discount code is Tiberius if you want to save a few bucks and maybe Hook me up a little bit. All right, the material is a 500D Kodura. If you know what that means, that's a great thing. It's a very, very durable material, and I think this bag is going to last a very long time. All the zippers are very, very smooth. They're not a YKK name brand zipper, I don't believe, um, but they are very, very smooth, and they're good to go. Now, the front pouch is where we're gonna start because, I don't know, I feel like it, and that's where we're gonna start. This is probably the most underutilized pouch out of all of them. I could probably put something in here a lot better, but it has a zipper pouch where I keep all my markers and pens and that type of stuff. The adjustable drawstring pouch, I just have some gloves in here. It's not the best, but um, I obviously wear gloves at the range because it's cold and that's where I keep my gloves. This other pouch on the side is gonna be all my medical gear. I always bring medical gear at to the range. I have never died from a gunshot wound, but I think it sucks, so I don't wanna die. I have a quick access tourniquet on the outside here and then when you go on the inside, there is a few different uh, med pouches, med bags in here that has things like, again, tourniquet, quick clot, uh, chest seal, things like that in there. And then there's some gloves. There's some CPR stuff down the bottom. You get the point. I am not a doctor, but I know the basics of CPR and medical gear. The other side is the very, very important eyes and ears. These uh, MSA Sordans or whatever the brand is now, the Sordan Air Pro are, again, some of the best value for hearing protection. Very high quality, very comfortable. Not quite as much as Comtex. The packed shot timer is great i love my pack shot timer i also love gators eyewear now i have three pairs of gators gators high quality made in the u.s i have dedicated videos on them they are just awesome sets of eye protection in the back here is the kind of the stuff that i don't really need if i do once in a while not quick access stuff yes i keep stuff in my range bag to start a fire i live up in the northeast it is very very cold i always start a fire at the range when it's cold to stay warm so i usually have two or three different ways to start a fire this um these fire plugs are from uh, black bear fire i've done like four videos on black bear fire all this stuff to me seemed super super gimmicky i'm not gonna lie until i did the video and that stuff is legit it all works extremely well there's two other pockets in here that have adjustable drawstrings uh one of them i keep all the different batteries you know cr123 cr2s double a's triple a's rechargeable batteries you get the point it's an adjustable drawstring i've seen people put magazines in here ar15 mags work great in here the other side is just some uh some cleaning and lube. I've been using Breakthrough Clean for a very, very long time. It's never done me wrong, so I stick with Breakthrough Clean, but there's a lot of good brands out there. Now, the straps are very, very nice. They're very wide, strong straps. This is a big, heavy bag, and you're gonna need some strong straps that are sewn very nicely to support the weight. 
The, uh, the handle is padded, Velcro, very, very nice. The shoulder strap is also very nice. Once again, it is padded, everything. Um, it is adjustable, the shoulder strap. And then it has some nice D-rings with some nice like, HK type clasp on here that uh, is removable if you don't want it on there. The zipper is, um, again, very, very strong, very, very solid zipper with little pull tabs on each end to make it easier to open and close the bag. On one side, I just toss all the guns in here. And if you people are super neat freaks or whatever, you are not gonna like the inside of my range bag. I literally just toss the, the two, three, four, five pistols on top of each other. I don't, I'm not gentle on my guns. I toss them in there. I toss the magazines on top and that's how I bring pistols back and forth to the range. I know some people aren't gonna like it. In the middle pouch here, I have a couple different things. I have a uh, Mag Lula speed loader. If you shoot a lot, that thing is priceless. I have a spotting scope from Lucid Optics that has been very good to me. I have a set of backup eyes that I never use because they're not gators and I only rock gators. I also have a stapler and some staples to hang up my targets. Now I used to use spray glue. If you live in a warm weather environment, spray glue that you can get at like Staples or Walmart works great to hang paper targets, but does not work well in the cold. Last, but certainly not least, the last pouch here is gonna be all of my tools. I hate when I go to the range and something falls off, I have a problem, I need to install something, whatever, so I keep every single tool that I could possibly think of inside here. There's Loctite in there. Um, there is the fat wrenches inside there. I have some fix it, fix it sticks, which is a great tools. Allen wrenches, um, multi-purpose tool, all sorts of good tools in there. Case anything that could possibly go wrong, I am covered. All right, this bag is 20 by 13 by 10. It is a big bag. MSRP starts at $300 for a plain color. Goes up to a little over $400 if you want one of these fancy, fancy uh, multi-cams like I have here. And it has a limited lifetime warranty. Again, it's made in the States with material that is made in the States and that is good. Testing, I've had this for two or three months. I go to the range one to two times a week. You do the math. It's lived in my van. I just leave my range bag, not the guns. I leave my range bag in my van at all times. So cold winter, it's just, it's been in there. It's been thrown around. Things have been on top of it. Um, lots and lots of temperature changes. So it's got a good beat down. It's got a good test over the past couple months. Pros, I love that it's made in the States and I love that it's sewn in the States with material that's made in the States. I like that it has a limited lifetime warranty. Um, all of the pockets are very, very well thought out. All of the storage is very, very well thought out. I hate that big empty space with no pockets. The other thing I meant to mention, forget to mention here, I apologize, I'm gonna go back inside the bag. Those little dividers that you saw, saw in there are just Velcroed in place. You can pull them out and make the spacing in there whatever size you want. Those dividers also have slots for a firearm. I didn't use it, didn't care for it, but you can customize the space in there, the sizes, however you need to for your kit. Dividers are great, pockets are great. You can fit so many gummy bears in this bag. You could store a lifetime supply of gummy bears. Sorry, dad jokes. Cons, um, if you're not careful with any big range bag, you're gonna overfill it and it's gonna become a million pounds. This is not really a con of this bag specifically, but with any big range bag, just chill. Don't overload it up so you can't lift it and you can't carry it. Uh, the other thing I can't comment on is going to be the long-term durability. I've only had this bag for two or three months. However, I have another bag from Lynx Defense that I've had for two or three years that I keep my Mossberg Shockwave in there that I've used a ton that's gone on trips with me and that bag is held up very, very well. So I'm going to assume that this bag is gonna hold up just as well as the other one. Overall, it is a dope bag. If you want a large range bag, this should definitely be on the list with all the organization and pockets and storage. If you don't want a huge range bag, they do have smaller ones. They have rifle bags, pistol pouches. They have a ton of different bags. So if this isn't your, your jam, if this isn't your jammy jam, check out their website because they have a ton, ton of other options. I need to thank Lynx Defense. Just so you know, they did send out this bag to review. And no, a free range bag does not buy my opinion. I still told you the pros, the cons, what I think of it overall as honestly as possible. I will try to put some affiliate links down in the video description. I don't know if anyone sells Link Def Lynx Defense besides their website directly, but if I can, I will put those links down there 
and hopefully I can find you a good deal. Swag, as always, we have long sleeve shirts, we have short sleeve shirts, we have patches. You will look the coolest of the cool kids if you buy and wear a Tiberius patch, and that is the best way to support the channel. The uh, sponsor of the video, like I mentioned earlier, is Prime Armor. Prime Armor makes great, high quality, Plate carriers, armor, body armor, soft armor, level three, level four, blah, blah, blah. Discount code is Tiberius. I get a small kickback. You save some money. Everyone is happy. Thank you for Two Prime Armor for sponsoring this video. I can't speak. Most important, thank you for watching. It is greatly, greatly appreciated. If you think I deserve it, like, comment, subscribe, enable the bell notifications. Those things are free. They don't hurt. Truly help me out. Definitely appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.